Hello everyone, we are going to learn about assembly coding in 8085 microprocessor. First of all, we have to learn some basic concepts regarding assembly code in 8085 microprocessor. So, first of all, we have to learn hexadecimal numbering system. It is very easy. From 0, to, there is a pattern you have to remember always. You have to remember 0 to 9, it is always a number system. Then after it, it is a alphabetic system. Again, 10 to 19, it is a number system. Then 1A to 1F, it is alphabetic system. Similarly, 20 to 29, it is a number system. Again, 2A to 2F, it is an alphabetic system. 30 to 39, again, it is a number system. And 3A to 3F, it is a alphabetic system. So 0 to 9, it is number system. A, B, C, D, E, F, till F, it is alphabetic system. 10 to 19, it is number system. 1A to 1F, it is alphabetic system. I hope you will understand it easily. So move to some interesting things regarding assembly code in is assembly code in 8085 microprocessor first of all what is instruction an instruction is a binary pattern designed inside a microprocessor to perform a specific function an entire group of instruction is called instruction set so whatever code you feed inside a microprocessor your come op codes and operand combination of these things these are instruction set movb comma a add b Whatever code you and whatever stuff you put inside 8085, 8085 microprocessor, these are instruction set and it microprocessor process it and give you a desired out output. This also this is also a basic concept of a computer. So basically, an instruction set has two parts. One is the task to be performed called operation code that is also known as opcode, and other is data to be operated on and that is called operand or data. Sim so you can see here mov is opcode and b comma a is operand so the combination of opcode and operand is called instruction set so our instruction set is basically classified on the basis of word size and number of bytes so first of all it is one byte instruction set another is two byte instruction set and third is three byte instruction set basically what is the what are the differences among these opcode and operand are present in same byte then it is called one byte instruction set you can see add b more b comma a if you write the their hex code it will always take only one memory address and in case of two byte instruction set first byte specifies the opcode and second byte specifies the operand and in mvi a is comma zero five mvi is opcode and a is comma zero five is operand if you write its hex code it will take two continuous memory addresses therefore it is known as two byte instruction set and in similarly in three byte instruction set it takes continuous three memory addresses first byte specifies the opcode and other two bytes specify the 16 bit address as jmp 2085h its hex code will be c38520 because we write in reverse order the memory address is written in reverse order so it will take three continuous memory addresses c3 will take 8000 memory address 885 will if suppose C3 takes 8000 memory address, so 85 will take 8001 memory address and 20 will take 8002 memory address. So these are the basic concept of instruction set. So basically are all these codes, all these op codes are basically classified in some regular fashion way. Instruction have been classified into following functional groups. So these functional group are data transfer group, arithmetic group, logical group, branch control group, ion machine control group. Suppose there are a lot of instruction, a lot of commands. So you have to make some data structure or you have to set them in some specific classification so that you can easily retrieve them and use in their functionality. So all these opcodes are classified in the five in these five major functionality groups. So it is very necessary in any management system. So therefore, in assembly coding in 8085 microprocessor, these five classification you have to remember. So first of all, that our first group is data transfer group. As it is clear with name, data transfer, it means either data is transferred from memory to memory or from register to memory or from memory to register. So here there are some key points. Copy the contents of register from one to another. Suppose move a comma b content of b register is moved in uh, a register or accumulator. Load register with specific data byte like FFH, 
zero comma zero comma zero a that is ten or thirty two and move data from memory location C thousand S to register C move data from an input port to accumulator. So these are basic things in data transfer group. It is basically related with movement of data from memory to a register or either register to memory or from memory to memory or register to register. So basically here are some basic commands in this functionality group. MOV move data as move A comma B. So content of B register in move in A. MVI move immediate data. MVI B 30H. So 30H 30 data will be copied to B register. And LXI stands for LXI load register pair with 16 bit memory address. LXI H 2034. So 2034 memory location will be stored in HL register pair. Similarly, LDA load content from memory version to accumulator. Here is example LDA 3000H. So content of memory location 3000H is copied into accumulator. Similarly, STA load content from accumulator to memory location. Here is its example STA 3000H. The content of accumulator is stored in memory location 3000H. So basically you can see LDA and STA are opposite to each other. In LDA, content is moved from memory location to accumulator and in STA, content is moved from accumulator to memory location. Similarly, HLD load HL register directly from memory and SHLD store H and L register directly in memory. So here we will understand this command with some pictorial, uh, some pic pictorial diagram, pictorial sketch. Here is pictorial representation of data transfer group. These are general purpose registers. Here it is accumulator and these are flag registers. BC and DHL are common general purpose registers. We have not shown here SP and PC. So here is stack memory. First of all, we have written command MVIB, 32. So 32 data will be stored in B. As you can see, 32 is stored in B register. LXI as C1000H. So C1000H memory location is loaded here in HL register pair. So we do move A comma B. Content of B register is moved in A. So we will move it. Now we have done, we have written STA C1000. It means STA as we have discussed. LDA stands for content, move, con, uh, move content from memory to, uh, from uh, memory to, uh, Accumulator and in STA data is from transfer from accumulator to memory. So here data in accumulator is 32 So it will be transferred to memory as it is as you can see C1000 content 32 32 will be stored in HL register pair it, as it is 8-bit data. Similarly LDA stands for transfer of data from uh, Accumulator to memory location. So I, I uh, Sorry LDA stands for transfer of data from memory uh, uh, accumulator to memory location yeah so our accumulator contains 32 so 32 will be stored in c050 i hope you like this video for for further videos see our tutorials